Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to another episode of Papa Keith's Kitchen. Today, I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and make some of those calzones. <laughs> um, I got my ingredients out here. Now, calzones uh, is Italian, and it originated in, uh, I believe it was Naples, Italy. Uh, they call it over there a caltozoni. Something like that. Must be we changed the name so it, we could speak it a little bit easier. I don't know. But that meaning of that is means trousers. Now maybe they figured they were making a pair of pants and it ended up being a calzone when they got done. Who knows? We're going to make it anyway. Um... I'll post the recipe on the description below when I get done to make it easy because you guys all know I do everything double so it's kind of hard to follow that way. But the batch that I'm making will make eight. And uh, before I come on, I got some yeast. And you probably can see how that's working the top there. Now I use half and half instead of the water. It seems to double it in size in a quick hurry and I used a Nessa oh probably a tablespoon and a half of sugar look at the head on that you'd think it'd probably be beer wouldn't you <sighs> looks good well anyway the first thing we want to do is make our dough before we can do anything else and it's a pretty simple pizza dough just like we made before and here I have about uh, I'd say four cups of flour I'm gonna dump it into this here. <laughs> Voila. And the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add some seasoning. Just because I like seasoning. You don't have to add anything if you don't want to. I'm gonna add that right in there. Get that out of the way. Don't forget we wanna add whole, I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of salt in this. Got that. Put this out of the way. And the next thing we can't forget is our oil. Now, I'm using olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil, shortening, whatever you have on hand. I don't know, I just like olive oil. The other hand, them Italians, they certainly know how to make foods that keeps us fat, don't they? But if they don't make you fat, it probably don't taste good. In the second half of this, I'll tell you what I'm going to put in for the, the toppings and stuff inside, but we'll wait until we get to that point. This is just some extra flour to keep it from sticking to my top when I get ready to play with it there. Oh, I want to grab a spatula. Bring this over here. I'm going to dump that in there. There we go. Get all that goodness, we want all that yeast out of there. All right. I'll save that, I might need it for the toys. Sink. Next thing I'm gonna do is hook up to this mixer and I'm gonna use a dough hook like I did before. Squeeze it up on there. In. Here we go. Start things on slow. Mix it all in good shape. I know you can't see my head back there, but I'm still here. Turn it up a little. about 130 to 140 degrees to it. Don't want it too cold because you don't want to kill your yeast. Try that and see how it goes.
and that cleaned the bottom right off from that. So I have nothing left in there. Pick that down. powder up a little bit of space here because I can work with my doll. Throw a little on there and smooth it around. Now, get that dough out of here. Oh, that's really pretty. Yes, yeah, sir. Put that over here for a while. Ah, nice warm. Get that scratchy dough. Yeah. Gonna work it. You see all those spots in there is from the seasonings that I put in there. You can always add them after too, you know, just sprinkle it on your top. But I wanted to mix it all through in good shape. Working the dough here pretty good. Fold it in, roll it over. You can do this for about three or four minutes. I do love playing with dough. I think I told you that before. Ooh. Yes. Elastic. -y. That's what you want. Now I'm going to take this dough. I'm going to make it into a nice round ball here. Seal up your bottom. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top of it. Just because I like to. Yeah. Now I'm going to find myself a bowl. I'm going to let this rest for, I'm going to at least a half an hour. Maybe 45 minutes. We'll see how it goes. I'll put it someplace warm where it can rise up and do its thing. And then I'll be back. And we'll see if we can't put together some of them famous calzones out of Italy. Don't go away. Well, I'm back. Didn't take me too long. This here is the dough I've been letting rise. Now look at that, isn't that nice and fat? Wow, hmm, looks good. You can see all that speckling of seasoning in there. It looks mighty fine. And now let's talk about what we're gonna use for toppings. I don't think we discussed that. Toppings are simply the ingredients we're going to add to the inside and you add what you like. Now in this bowl I got some sauteed onions, peppers, a little bit of sausage, green peppers, red peppers, um, and quite a bit of chopped ham. I kind of like ham, so that's what we're going to stuff it with. Now when I sauteed this, uh, what I did is uh, use the strainer like this and I strained it and it took out this much grease so if you're on a diet this might help a little bit not much <laughs> okay, okay and um, another ingredient that I like to add is this chipotle makes it a little bit on the hot side but not too hot okay then I'm going to be using uh, I got, I mixed up two different types of cheese in here. One is the Mexican blend, and the other is the uh, shark cheddar. And that's gonna go inside, and let's see if we can't make a few of these, and we'll get them baked up. Now, these are gonna go into the oven for, um, well, we wanted it at 375, and I'm gonna try them for 10, 12 minutes and check on them, see how they're doing. And let's see if we can't make a couple of these. Get out of there, there. Put this bowl aside. I 
got kind of a small kitchen, but it works for me. Don't need a big one. Be more for me to clean after. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of this. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I'm going to squish her down like this here. And I'm going to roll it. chopper thing here and I'm gonna go about half 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 uh, half half and half there those are my pieces I'm gonna work with flour on there you don't have to be perfect but I guess we're going to be making trousers I guess my fingers here. I'm going to line this right down through the center. Put in as much as you like. And I'm putting in the cheese. I kind of like lots of cheese. Cheesier the better. But you don't want it all over your stove either. And now we want to do is grab the top of this and bring it over. Like so. Now I'm going to grab my fork and we'll crimp it all the way around. Join it together. And of course, the next step you're going to do, I won't sit here and make every single one of them, but I just wanted to show you the first one. The next thing is to get it onto the pan. I'm going to put it lengthways so it's all on there. You can see that. It's all crimped aside. And I'm going to take my uh, razor blade right here. I'm just going to go on the top of this and just go like this. So it's going to breathe a little bit. Some of that cheese and stuff probably will come out of there. But that's the way we do it. And when I get them all made, I'll show you what we've done. And hopefully they'll taste pretty good. Now, before I put these in the oven, I'm going to cover them with a little bit of oil. Just take a brush. 
take a paintbrush and just paint them. So I'll be back to show you the results later. Well, I got them baked, folks. Let's see how they turned out. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look good? Mmm, cheese popping out. Oh, yummy. Mm. This will make my tummy very happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on Papa Key's Kitchen. Have a great day.